So how you access the solution or the interface is the is via a web browser. You type in your URL and then you log in using your credentials. And here you can do a few things. This is a floor plan view of the current office that I'm in now. We're actually in this particular area, the boardroom. And I'm talking to you from around about here. And uh, what we can do is there's a few key benefits with the interface. Firstly, it contributes towards the operational and maintenance efficiency of the building. So you can view any alerts and monitor what's happening with the system. Then secondly, you can actually visualize how your space is being used and then make decisions on how to optimize the, the energy efficiency of the building and also the, the usage of the space. And I'll demo how this is achieved and how we visualize this in the interface. So here at the moment, we're on the monitoring view. Here you can see some icons where all the lights are and also two of the sensors in the room. And if there was anything wrong, then one of the icons would be a different color. And we've put some alerts on the system previously, so you can see a history of any alerts that has happened before. And you can also click on a particular device to see its current status. And it's a nice visualization tool. Of course, you can uh, pan, tilt, zoom, and it's a, actually a 3D display like this. So you can have different uh, visualization views depending on your preference. And you can see what the current status of the lighting is at the moment as well. So if I click on the lighting tab at the top, you can see what actual levels the lighting is at by clicking on a particular one or actually just viewing it in this particular way. So there we can actually go beyond just viewing the lighting and actually control the lighting. So if I click pressed on that particular icon, then you can go in and turn the lights on and off. You can also schedule events to happen from the interface itself and adjust any scenes that you want to do. For example, I can dim the lighting and I can um, raise the intensity like I had before. Then that's the monitoring side of it. From a building optimization aspect, then we can actually see how the space is being used. Now, this view has filtered the icons to just the two sensors in the room. And this will now show me a heat map of the kind of occupancy this room has um, been for the last 24 hours. And it's counting through now. And I came in this room about nine o'clock this morning. And you can see that uh, from that time onwards, the heat map starts gradually getting warmer, meaning there's been uh, occupancy and how much of that uh, space has been used. You can go into a little bit more detail, so you can actually click on a particular sensor and see its usage pattern and how occupied it has been in that uh, particular time frame. So this sensor here, which I'm standing in front of, has been occupied 25% of today. The sensor at the back of the room, where I'm not uh, presenting, has been occupied a little bit less at 22%. It's a very nice uh, feature for monitoring and building optimization. Where this really makes a bit more sense is when you scale up. So now this is an actual live site that we have connected and it's multi floors as well. This is one particular floor of a building. The little black dots are all the lights and the devices which are laid out. Already here I can, I can zoom in, I can see some devices on a different color and I'm in the monitoring view so I know that uh, potentially these are alerts. And that's right, these are particular devices here. It's an LED luminaire, which has actually gone missing in this particular area. And I can also view a, a history of the alerts by, by pressing on the alerts icon. And of course, like I did in this uh, room, I can go on the lighting tab and it will show me the actual light levels real time in this particular space. And how it's visualized in this view is by these uh, round white dots. So the brighter the white dot, the brighter the lighting is. 
And like I did before, it's a, uh, a 3D heat, uh, it's a 3D floor plan, so I can zoom in, zoom out, pan, tilt, zoom. And I can also click on one particular light to see its, see its uh, current levels. Another thing I can do, like I showed in this room, is the heat map feature. So here, this will filter the view to just the sensors of this particular floor. And then, like I did with this room, I can go, uh, I can press play, and then it will show me the actual usage of the entire floor in a uh, time lapse kind of uh, application. So here if I play, and this is a 24 hour site, it's a hospital, so it has been occupied throughout the night. And it's very interesting to see which spaces are particularly used and which spaces are particularly not used throughout the course of the day. And you can go back as well in the calendar and choose any specific days of the week um, up to when it was connected and see what the history was like and do some analysis and compare uh, if your space has actually been utilized to its maximum potential. Of course, you can actually zoom in like I showed you before and then click on a particular sensor and it shows you the actual usage of that sensor. And I can adjust the timeouts of these PIRs as well using another function and also control the lighting real time from my interface. So, that concludes our demo for today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing and learning about our new DALI 2 solution and the benefits that we bring into DALI 2 and how we add the value on top of the standard with our unique blend of features, benefits, and our own products. And thank you very much for your time and back to the studio with Josh.